OK, let's get a check on the weather with Wendy. What have you got for us, Wendy? Well, a little bit of everything as usual. We've had some showers, but after a long spell of sunshine, and although it will be dry for most tonight, we will have a further few showers around here and there. It all came from this area of low pressure. It sent out some spiralling arms that eventually got showers to us, but we really did have some lovely clear skies for most of the day, didn't we? This was the band that came through during the afternoon to give us some heavy downpours. They are on the way out for most of us tonight, but if you're further east and south of London, you might still see a few of those showers knocking about into the night. It's north of London, really, that you'll see the drier, clearer conditions. There will be a fair amount of cloud associated with those showers, but where it breaks, we could get as low as two or three degrees in a few spots overnight. We start the day tomorrow, probably on quite a grey note, actually, and if you're around the Thames Estuary, across parts of Kent and Essex, well, there you might see further showers through the middle part of the day, at least. And then as we get into the afternoon, most of us will be dry. There will be some sunny spells eventually. A bit of a breeze blowing in from the north, though, and temperatures will get up to about 12 degrees. As for bonfire ne night that evening, well, it looks like for the London firework displays, there will be clear skies. Temperatures will be picking, falling fairly quickly, 6 to 8 degrees Celsius. But as we go through that night with the clear skies, there will be some mist and fog forming. Central London down to 2 degrees, but there will be some places that get into the minus figures as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday. So it will be a chilly start to Thursday, frosty as well for many of us, I suspect, and there will be some sort of murkiness too. And then we'll get cloud coming in over all of that. So I think Thursday could feel like quite a raw day actually before the rain gets to us overnight, clears through on Friday. There will be one or two showers around as well. The next lot of rain comes in Saturday. Okay, Wendy, thanks very much.